Let's talk about using a core tool in SolidWorks modeling, the extrude tool. Now I want to talk about some of the options that are in this. So I'll move the rollback bar up to the top here and take a look at my model. And I want to really look at this transition section here. Okay. So the transition section, if we look at how it was built, we have a sketch here. The circle was extruded up to this handle down here to the right. So we edit the definition of this and we can look at how they did that. We have the up to next condition. Okay. There's a couple of different ways we could have done this. And that's what I want to talk about here in this week's video tech tip. So our circle extruded up to the handle. We could have done it with blind and then just ram in this in here. As long as the merge result checkbox is checked, this will get the job done according to our design intent for this model. However, that's not really a good option because it is super sloppy. All right. So why not just up to surface? Okay. Up to surface. If I click this face here, now it only supports one surface, right? So with this shape, it's going to go up to that face and then extend that planar face to encompass or to cut off the extrusion, right? So we get this shape here with this little offset down here. So that's not going to work for us. Um, up to body, right? We just pick the next body, go up to it. That'll work for us. Or the most straightforward, quick way to do this for this design intent is just up to next, right? Up to next, we'll get the job done with just one click. So by default, it would look like this. And one click, it just comes in here, say up to next, hit the check mark, and you're good to go. Moving on, right? So up to next basically takes the extrusion and extends it up until the next thing that it hits, whether it's a face, a surface, or a body, a solid body, and gets the job done.